Hey everyone, welcome back. So soon it is Lily here again and guess what guys? I don't know what beckoned me or was summoning me to Michael's today, but on our way home from running errands, uh, me and my hubby and the kiddos were running around doing some stuff we had to do. I had gone to Hobby Lobby for some supplies I needed and then something in my gut just told me you gotta stop at Michael's. And what I was looking for was the new washi tapes, but when I went in there, I don't even know what to say happened. I lost my dang mind. My husband and my kids <laughs> were waiting outside for me because I was just going to go in there and check and come back because I assumed I was not going to get lucky. I ended up having to call them into the store and that's where all the madness began. First of all, new paper pads. There was all the Christmas washi. There was all sorts of crazy stuff going on, but I'm going to start this all off by showing you this paper pad. But before I show you the paper pad, I wanted to kind of go over the last time I was trying to get my words out when I was telling you guys about the little acrylic uh, storage from the Dollar Tree. And what I was trying to say is that I used this E6000 glue to adhere the three of the drawers together because when you buy them like this and you do actually go to pull out the drawer, this is what happens. So they slide all over the place, so they just move around. So what I did is I just took some of this glue, ran it along this bottom here that touches the shelf below it because that's, that's where it's going to touch. So you want to make sure you put enough glue there on all three levels. And then you get this so they don't move, they don't budge, it is securely glued together and now I can store all my paper clips and little resin pieces that I use you know when I'm crafting and it's easily um, available to me and I can see it and it's nice and clean and tidy they just have a way of looking so clean so I just wanted to share with you because I felt like I couldn't explain or express what I was trying to say so this is what I did I took a set of three of these and then I just glued them together so that it is a solid unit and much easier to get into because if you try to get into these they just move and shift around it's really kind of annoying but this works really well, so I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick. I hope you can see that. But okay, let's jump into the Michael stuff. Now, I didn't get a lot of different things, but I got enough to dent the wallet for the week. I think I'm done craft shopping for the week. But anyways, there was all new Hot Buy paper pads, and today they were 70% off, so that means they were $5.99. There was no additional coupons that I could find. I was just too discombobbled, but I didn't even care. I had more of them in my cart. I ended up putting them down because I'll show you later. But anyways, this is called the Razzle Dazzle and it is just that. The foil inside of here is holographic. I'm gonna, I hope the camera will capture it as best as, or as nice as it looks. But I'm gonna kind of flip through this and try not to take too long because like I said, this haul should be pretty small. But guys, that is what the foil is. So it's not, you know, our normal like gold or it looks like silver, but it's got a holographic look to it so when you cut that and use it somewhere it's going to look so pretty i forgot what i was saying um that piece is just normal and this paper pad is just so gorgeous the purples and the the pretty um bold colors together is just this is reminds me of unicorn colors but it's just so pretty look at that one guys can you see the holographic Maybe someone's hauled this before. I think I have like seen it in a picture. I don't know. I've been trying to stay off Instagram. <laughs> Sometimes it gets stuck going on there and then it's just horrible because then you want to go to the stores, but I've been fighting the urge. So if someone else has hauled this, I'm sorry, but this is new to me and this is the first time I've seen it in store and there was a lot, guys. Oops, what did we skip? Try not to talk too much. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to cut into this. Look at this page, that's right on the top there. I hope I'm not being too shaky for you guys. But let me see, so that was the only paper pad. There was a lot I posted on my Instagram that I actually wanted to get, but I figured my chances of finding those later would be all right. I think they're kind of getting the clue now. And I there was other things that I picked up that I thought I definitely would have a hard time hunting in the near future. So the next item that I picked up it was one of those items where we kind of just met eye to eye and it was love at first sight. I really wouldn't have cared what the price tag was on it, but I knew I had a 50% off coupon. But how gorgeous is this new Recollections brand planner? Everybody is jumping in on the planner game here. I love the gold binding. 
and I didn't even look inside of it until I got home. I was like, oh my God, I don't need another planner. I already have like four of them. But then I reassured myself when I got home, I was like, oh yeah, it's a 2017. So when mine runs out, this will be ready to start. So I probably still end up getting another happy planner because I'm used to using them. But this one, I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of how it looks inside. So there is your monthly and then your weekly. I like how it gives you space to decorate and then there's still room to write. And then there's room down here for your washi or extra little notes. And then I kind of feel like they did go along the Erin Condren lines, but I mean, I guess they're kind of all doing that with the different little watercolors and messages inside. So I'm not going to go through each and every month, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little tour so you kind of know what you're looking at here. With the 50% off coupon, this was $15, which is a perfect price. I was happy paying that. But I wanted to show you guys what extra this planner came with. I don't know what Erin Condren comes with because I have never owned one of those yet. I'm still a happy planner girl and I have my Target one. But okay, so it comes with these grid papers. I don't know really what people use that for unless it's math or something. And then look guys, this whole back area here is stickers. So I'm gonna kinda turn this so we have room. These are all stickers back here. I thought that was a cute little added bonus for your, you know, days and important things. It has all of this inside of it. My flamingo phone case is casting a shadow of a flamingo. <laughs> Everybody is asleep again, so I'm trying to be quiet, and I've got some work to do, so I'm trying to speed through this without talking your guys' ear off. There is also a nice little folder pocket here, double-sided, and it's really thick, guys, like really sturdy. And then, oh my gosh, there's a little spot for your pens inside here, which is really awesome. And then look at the inside covers, like donut sprinkles. Isn't that so freaking cute? So again, here is the one I picked. I just could not. There was no way I was putting it down. I didn't care. I was going to get it. <laughs> and it's got the gold foil there. And then the inside of this cover is just all sprinkles. Super duper cute. They had a lot, guys. They had the larger size too, which is like the new um, Happy Planners large size. And it was down on the bottom shelf. And they had a pink one with gold pineapples. I probably will end up getting that one too. <laughs> just because I like to write bigger for stuff like things I do in the house when I'm cleaning and Stuff like that, I like to have more space to write because there is more things on a daily basis to do, like whether it's cleaning the animal cage or the fridge out, dusting, vacuuming. I just need more space than you have in the small one, whereas this one I can use for keeping track of appointments for the kids and the gym and all that other stuff. So I don't know. I just thought that the pineapple one was cute, and I'll just wait and go get that one later. All right, guys. So the next set of goodies is was a wow shocker to me to find because I really did not expect to find any of this. I did not get any of the Christmas washi when I ran into this because I was like, no, it's not. It's not going before the Christmas washi or before this washi. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start with these little skinny rolls, which are very important. I feel they don't have enough of them. And this is a pack of all rose gold with the light pale pink in the middle. I plan on doing a rose gold uh, layout here soon if I get some time. So I got this pack of washi here and I think these were the normal like $3.99 or $4.99, I can't remember, and then we got the half off. I sure did to take my butt through the line multiple times to get my 50% off <laughs> each item I bought today. I did not care. And my husband helped me too, he's a culprit. So. Here is the next set of skinny washi I got, and this one was one I know would be hard to find later, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. Now, they had a big face out of all these little skinny washi tubes like this, and there's probably like 20 different ones I that were all brand new. So those were the small rolls of washi that I got. Now, I, ra I had Christmas washi in my cart, and I quickly got taken out because I ran into these new tubes of washi. Now... I don't know if you guys need the numbers there. I'll just try to show each one if I can remember. This one kind of reminds me of that tea party stack that we have. It is very similar because I compared it already, but they just changed up some of the patterns on some of them and switched a few things. But I just, I grabbed it anyway. I figure if I didn't want it later, I could just take it back better than wanting it and it being gone. And then I ran into this one. This one is also gorgeous colors. It is capable of amazing things. It says, you are capable of amazing things. And it's got the pretty berry with the foil on it. Polka dots on the top. There is the number for that one. 
I also found this one. I don't know how many new ones there are total, but I think I got 10 or eight, I don't know. This one is that number there. And Free Spirit, it reminds me of that pad of paper with all the palm trees and the kind of California fill and it says, so what does it say, sand and sun. Really cute. So there is that one. I also found this one here and it has the pretty pineapples on top. All of this gorgeousness. Look at there's flamingos with pineapples. All of this amazingness in a tube of beautiful washi. My favorite, of course, is the eyelash one. Oh, I probably should have got a second one of this, but I was trying to be really good. Well, I was not good at all, but doubles at this time was just not an option. And then the next one I picked up was this one. Look how gorgeous this is with the little Boston Terrier. I don't know if it's a French Bulldog or Boston Terrier. They kind of look similar. And it says love on it. Be sassy. My me time. Love it. Vacay. How adorable is this roll of washi? Look at the little skinny one with the hearts there. So there is that number. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you guys want to go hunt these, it is going to be a hard hunt because most time when people see them, they do grab more than one. So I, hope, I wish you guys luck if you guys run into them or do not. They will eventually pop up. I hope it seemed like they're gearing up to keep stock of these things. There was a big face out of these. And then there is that number there. And this one is also really gorgeous. This was one I almost was going to leave behind, but... I was just like, you better get them now. If I wait, then I'm gonna be sorry later. So I'd rather be sorry now and get in trouble <laughs> than leave them and be sorry hunting all, driving all over, wasting gas later. So I just grabbed, I grabbed, there was only two that I know I didn't get that I was kind of like, eh, I'm not gonna cry over that one. Okay, and then this one is, <gasps> did I not get the one with the flipping taco? <gasps> or is it this one? Okay, so. Here is this one here, and it has like fast food. Here is the number for this. And oh my gosh, look at this tube of washi. Can you even take it? It's all junk food, it looks amazing, it is super cute. I'm, fine. I'm glad they're finally getting it that we are obsessed with the washi. I just hope that they keep it in stock for us all so we don't go crazy, drive everybody else crazy. And then this is my favorite one. This one I did get two of because it was just my absolute favorite and I wanted to make sure I had plenty. I don't know how Michael's captured what goes on in my head all day in a freaking tube of washi, but somehow they managed and this is my favorite, favorite one. So it's got the cute eyelashes there. You guys know I'm obsessed with that. And then I love llamas. And cactus and then there's the unicorns cake watermelon pineapple everything you need for a happy day is in this tube of washi here <laughs> and then this guy's number is right there so if you want to call ahead and write these down so you know what you're looking for there are those and like I said that was the other one that I picked up that is all for my haul I blew my freaking shopping wad that I should have spent all in one day. Um, I'm gonna just try to get dressed up in my costume this weekend and not go too crazy. Let me know if you guys have found these, seen them on Instagram, or even knew that they were coming out. I would go start checking your store soon, whatever day they get their packaging in. Leave me a comment below, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.